righty. Before we start learning how to use this prime number um, sieve, it helps find prime numbers quickly. We just want to recall what a prime number is. And a prime number is exactly two factors. One of the factors has to be one, and the other factor has to be the number itself. So the smallest prime number is two, because if you think about it, the only factors of two are one and two. You might be wondering why one is not a prime number, because one only has one factor. So we would not consider one a prime number. Another example of a prime number would be, you know, three, because the only factors of three are one and three. So in order to understand primes a little bit better, it's nice to think about what it means to be composite. So a composite number has more than two factors. We've done lots of examples of composite numbers in class. For example, um, six is not a composite number because the factors of six are one times six and two times three. And six therefore has four factors. So six is not prime and, it's, and it is composite. Another composite number could be nine. That's an example of a composite number that is also odd. Because nine has the factors one times nine and three. Well, three times three is the factor pair, but the factors of nine are one, nine, and three. So nine is a composite number. And we've done a lot of work talking about factors. So there's a definition if you want to take a minute to look at it. So what I would like you to do is draw your attention over to this side of the page right here. And we're going to look at this prime number sieve. And it's, it's a little tool that you can use to find all the prime numbers in a systematic way. So the, the way you use the tool is first cross out the lowest non-prime. And then second, circle the lowest prime. That's your starting. So when I look at my board, I'm going to cross out um, one because it's the lowest non-prime. But then I'm going to circle two because it is prime. And then what you do is you go find all the multiples of two and cross them out because they have more than two factors. So if two is a factor of four, we already know one and four are factors, we would cross it out. Six, we would cross out, because that's not prime, since two goes into it. And eight's not prime, and 10's not prime, because all of those even numbers have more than two factors. So I'm gonna go through this process crossing out every even number. And what you will see quickly is there's a pattern. There's a visual pattern here when I cross out all even numbers. And that visual pattern is basically every column is crossed out on this chart. All of these numbers that I'm crossing out are not prime. So the quicker way to have done that would have just said, I know all of these are even, and 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 all of those are even. So I'm gonna cross them all out because there's only one even prime, and that's the number two. Now you sort of loop back on these directions, and you 
go back here and you cross out the lowest non-prime. We've done that. And now we're going to circle the next prime. So we're going to continue. We're going to um, what? Let me think about that. We're just going to continue the process. of circling out, circling primes and crossing out non-primes. So when I go back to the beginning, I, I look at my chart and I find I've left over the next number that's not covered, which is three, and that's gonna be prime. So now I'm gonna go find all multiples of three and cross them out because three goes into all of these numbers, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, so I'm counting by threes, 24, 27, 30, and 33, and you might even see a pattern here on the diagonals, 36, 39, 42, 45, 48. And so if you look really closely, and I make this green a little thicker, I just crossed out all these numbers on the diagonals. Those are all multiples of three. See that? The first time you see this, it's confusing, but if you practice it, it ends up being a quick way to find primes. Now we're going to continue the process and we're going to circle the next uncircled number. So if you look a little farther over, whoops, the next uncircled number is 5. So now every multiple of 5 we're going to cross out because none of those will be prime. So 5, 10, 15, all of these numbers are multiples of 5. So the quickest way to do that is just cross them out. Some of them are already crossed out. And the next uncircled number is a prime. And then if you count by 7s, you cross out all multiples of 7. So 7 plus 7 is 14. 14 plus 7 is 21. Most of these are crossed out. 21 plus 7 is 28. 28 plus 7 is 35. 35 plus 7 is 42. And the last one, 42 plus 7 is 49. Now the next uncircled number is prime. So we continue the process. We're going to cross out all multiples of 11. 11 plus 11 is 22. Add another 11, it's 33. And another 11, it's 44. So there are your primes, or your non primes. And the next uncircled number is prime. So we're going to continue the process. 13 plus 13 is 26. So we'll cross out 26. Add another 13. It's 39. And the next 13 would be 52. It's off the table. So guess what? The next uncircled number is prime. 17 plus 17 would be 34. So we can cross out 34. And if we add another 17, we're off the chart. So the next uncircled number is prime. 19 plus 19 is 38. And another 19, we're off the chart. So the next circled number, 23, is prime. And 23 plus 23 is 46. We'll 
cross that out, and then we're off the chart. So the next uncircled number is 29. And 29 plus 29 is off the chart, so that means everything left is a prime. So those are all of your prime numbers. Everything in the circle is a prime number. Those are all the primes from 2 to 15.